good afternoon. I hope you've been enjoying the back-to-back music over the last couple of hours. In actual fact, the last week or two. 1024 FM TKO, total knockout. That's what you're going to get over the next two hours. What have you been doing with yourselves over the last few months? I have personally not been on the air for a little while now, due to one or two little things. Last weekend, I was in Iceland. had an amazing time down there. Can you tell you a little more about exactly what went on down there? A lot of the guys just get themselves drunk, and the girls go around looking at each other, if you know what I mean. The mighty Slimline CJ back on the airwaves. The master is back. Here with the music that's going to blow your mind over the next two hours. Jelly Bean in the studio. Jocelyn on the microphone. This is Jocelyn Brown. Love's going to get you. 10.24 FM. Jocelyn Brown. Love's gonna get you. There's a young lady called Rochelle. Magic man. You're my magic man. 1024 FM. On a fabulous Sunday afternoon. Well, it's not that fabulous. Still pretty cold outside. I'm gonna give you a weather check in a little while once we get Jackie in the studio. She'll tell me exactly how to cold it is out there. This is TKO on 1024 FM.
There you go, two young ladies on the Warner Brothers record label. First one, Jocelyn Brown, and this is Rochelle, Magic Man. The time now, seven and a half minutes after two. You are listening to 1024 FM, Total Knockout. Had an amazing night last night at Bananas in Wardour Street. Great fun. And then straight after that, run down. Amazingly getting in on time down there at the Limelight in Crystal Palace. For those of you who don't know what the Limelight is, it's a brand new club opened up a couple of weeks ago. What should we say, over a month or so ago. It's a com- completely done out with beautiful equipment, lots of young girls, and it's adjacent to Crystal Palace. Football ground, all right? Going to tell you more about that later. In the meantime, a young man still doing well in the clubs were from an excellent album. This is Paul Lawrence. Getting down, getting up again, as they say in the trade. Murderous tune here. Mm, there ain't nothing like a bit of your love in. <laughs> on a Sunday afternoon. Nice to be back on the airwaves again. Nothing like a bit of your love in that is so true. Well, before we go any further, I'd just like to tell you something very, very important. First of all, I'd like to wish Solar Radio and Horizon Radio the best of luck with their application for a license to broadcast over London. And contrary to what one or two people might be saying, this is not a backlash of Solar Radio. It's a brand new music station that's going to entertain you, hopefully right the way through 1986. With sort of music like this. Caprice. And 100%. Let me just uh, run down on some of the uh, presenters that will be on the brand new music station, TKO. Starts off with Mr. Nigel Owen, Jim Calvin, Dave Paul, Paul Goddard, Dave Stewart, 
Alan Sullivan, good old Alan Sullivan there. <laughs> Mike Sefton, and of course the man everybody loves, the Mix Doctor. The m m m m Mix Doctor. From the DMC Club, of course, he's going to blow your mind each and every Saturday night. And not forgetting Jimmy King, the young man who gives out the results down there at Stanford Bridge at halftime. <laughs> All right, Jim. It's a lovely little record, 100% of your love in, that's 100% of your music, 1024 FM. Now is the time, don't you know, to let all of the fans inside you too. Release your pain of love and you'll find what you do. I've got the only one so very bad for you. That's Caprice. Excellent track there for you. Right, this time last weekend, if you cast your memories back a couple of months ago, a competition held on Solar Radio at the time for a funkin' marvellous trip to Iceland. Yes, well, it was put off for one week due to air traffic control strike, but we finally got off the ground. And uh, the winners of Solar Radio was uh, Chris Doggett and Kerry. They were the winners of Solar. And the winners from Blues and Soul was Carl Collins, Percy... Nick Los Lozenges, I think it is. <laughs> he won't like me saying that. And a courier young lady, Evelyn from Steiner Records, and Mark Webster from Blues and Soul. We all went along to Iceland, awaiting what would happen. Well, we arrived Friday afternoon of last week. To our amazement, it was actually colder in London than it was in Reykjavik. That evening, we had a sort of photo call, so to speak. It was quite big business in Iceland then. I was sort of worried. Well, how are the Icelandic people going to take the music? Well, to my surprise and to a lot of people's surprise, they loved the music that we played over there. And they were getting down to stuff from Aleem, Harlequin Fours, The Full Fours, Dougie Fresh especially, Wally Badaru, Renee and Angela. They just loved it. What can I say? You would not believe me, but with a bit of luck over the next few days or so, I'm going to try and play a little bit of snip of what we played over there just to prove to you that they loved it, all right? Enjoyed myself immensely in Iceland and hope to go back there soon. But I'll tell you something. If you ever fancy going to Iceland, make sure you go over there well prepared for the nightlife. There's only two clubs in Iceland. The guys go around getting drunk all night. The girls do not know what to do with themselves. So the guys, you'll have a lot of fun. 